name's Ben Beatty and I'm the owner of the Bait Bungalow. And I've been making uh, soft plastic lures now for about three years. And I've just been doing it selling all over the place and local fishermen. And so these are a couple of the ones I make. This is going to be a little bit of a caddis fly. It's going to be an insect. I was trying to focus on insect lures, but I use these molds and I just like to experiment, you know, make different lures. Well, I started when I was young. My dad introduced me to uh, fishing probably around age six. Really, really wasn't into it back then, but I, I started picking up the, the fishing bug again around age 14. And I, I watched a YouTube video one day, and it was about some guy over in Europe making uh, fishing lures, plastics. And I just wanted to try that out. So I started look, watching a bunch of videos, I started doing the craft and learning it. And eventually I started trying to use my lures around here. I'd go to uh, Little Beaver, Big Beaver over in Strasburg, all those creeks. And I'd just start experimenting with all the lures. And I'd be catching trout, panfish, bass sometimes. And it kind of grew from there from it was my hobby at that point, but I wanted to go take it into the business a little more. This, this is going to be my 2.2 inch caddis fly larva. And that's pretty much good for those bass. And then moving down here, we have a little bit of my uh, mites. I call them a mite. They look, they look, they look like your basic average insect. And then go over here, we have a helger mite in rotation. That's good for the Susquehanna River, the smallmouth. Coming over, this is actually a custom design. I designed myself with a mold maker and it's called the, I call it the arachnid and that's in the yellowstone color. And down here we have one of my best sell, best sellers. It's gonna be a little 1.3 inch um, stonefly. And I have that rigged on a hook right there. This is my best seller. This is the stonefly again. And you can, it sells because it's such a lifelike imitation of the real thing. You know, they don't really grow this size in the river, so anglers are always looking for something that looks realistic, but is also, it's meaty. Like, you, you're gonna, this is gonna fit in a hook and fish are gonna, it's gonna appeal to them. So. I like to spin fish a lot, but I also throw a fly a couple of times, but you wanna take your hook and you wanna slide it right. Right on down there. And once you got that going, you're pretty much set for, this is good again for trout and all those little panfish. We're gonna show you how I make some stoneflies. So it comes in your molds right here. And what I like to do, I have a pneumatic clamp here, but put them in there. You flip it and it's gonna use all the air pressure against it and it's gonna clamp all the molds together. And you're ready to start beginning your uh, mixing the plastic. So what you use to create these rubber baits is Plastisol. You may know it from uh, your graphics on your t-shirt, that rubber sort of stuff, but that's what it's used for with Plastisol. And this is a different form of it just for baits. So I, when I'm doing stoneflies, I like to pour about a cup of it. They really don't need much. Stoneflies are a small bait, but you're gonna wanna, I heat you, probably the best best to put in the microwave. And I do it about three minutes on high. And then once it turns to a clear gel form, you're good to go. Now that your plastic's ready to go, as you can see, it went from that white liquid we talked about and it's clear now. And when it's clear, that means it start to gel up. So once it's at this point, you're good to add your color and color and flake. So to that, the color we're gonna make now, I call mud. It's gonna be a brown, it's gonna be a brown base. Once you get your color in there, and then I like to add a little bit of black glitter for some texture. So once you got your color additives in there, just give it a mix. So now that you have your uh, plastic, it's colored, it's mixed, got your flake in there, you're ready to shoot it. So you want to take your injector, this is a 10 ounce I have, and you just want to slowly plunge up. And that plastic's just getting sucked right up into the tube. And then I like to 
It's called burping it. You want to get your air out, so just squirt it out a little. Let the bubbles come out. You don't want that in your bait. Then you want to come over to your molds. And you just want to slowly push down. And you'll feel a little pressure, and that's when you know when to stop. But just keep going on down the line. And you'll start, you'll start seeing it start to slowly set up. And give it about two minutes, and we'll, we can start pulling these out and you'll have your stone flies and then I like to top it off in case any uh in case any of the molds need more plastic you can just draw from that and then you want to skirt squirt your excess back into the cup and come back two minutes and we'll have the baits we're ready to demold them now it's been about two minutes so once you pop the lever on the clamp you want to grab it and we'll open it over here, check it out. So uh, easiest way to open it is I take my finger, put it down the runner, and it'll, the mold just springs open. And as you can see, we got 10 stone flies. And they're all, they're all laid out. All the appendages filled nicely. So then you're gonna have to pull each bait off the runner. So this was a 10 cavity mold, so we're gonna get 10 stone flies out of it. And once they're all off, you're gonna to wanna to take them, put them in a bag. Now the bags I use are called worm bags and it's, it helps hold the, the oils and the chemicals of the plastic. So if you just use a Ziploc bag, the chemicals are gonna leach. So what you have left is, is just your runner and you can melt that right back down again. It's little to no waste. So I take my bag, I'm gonna lube it up, I use worm oil. Spread that around and grab with your stone flies. Spread them out. I, I do, this is my smallest count, this is a 10 count. And once you have your 10 count on, then I'll just write a quick label for them. Because these are the stone fly type. We did them in the mud colorway, and there's 10 of them. So once we got that down, slap the label on the back, and pretty much good to go then. All right, so these are the lures we just made. I appreciate you guys for joining me today and how we share a little bit about my business. Trout season's right on the corner, and you can follow a bit more of my adventures on Facebook, at The Bait Bungalow, and there's a link to my website on my Facebook page as well. Happy fishing.